This latest winter storm, of course, bringing another round of rain, even snow for many parts of Kern County. And we have team coverage of this winter weather this morning. 23 ABC's Eliza Navarro live in Kernville right now. We'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, but first, let's go to 23 ABC Scott Sheehan, who remains live up on the 58 near to hatch piece. Scott. Mike Danielle, that's right. So I'm up here on the 58 near the Hatchapi, right next to where the airport is, and right behind me, that's where that overturned semi is. We've been talking about it all morning. It happened around 1:45. It's slowing traffic on the eastbound, that number two lane. So that's the slow lane, the right lane. That's completely closed down. Where they're trying to get this truck overturned. I'll show you a little bit as they get out of the way. The the traffic ha has been starting to build up over the last half hour, hour as we're starting to head more into those work hours as commuters are heading out towards Edwards Air Force Base. Again, like I said, we're on the 58, just after Mill Street, right next to the Tachapi Airport. Right now, what they're trying to do is they're trying to unload the contents of this truck. Uh, CHP said that the driver of this truck was fine. I talked with him a little bit. He was just a little shucking up. Also, the owner of the truck company was notified, told about this, and he says this is just something that they're going to have to deal with, and they'll try to help them clean it up as quick as they can. As you can see, that is the dog food that they're trying to get out and the contents. And once they do so, then they'll try to pull the truck back up. When they did so, they broke part of the truck, so they couldn't do it with the contents in it. Also, a couple of road delays that I should mention as well. To Hatchby to Willow Springs is closed at the hill and to Cameron Canyon. So that is closed if you're trying to drive that direction. But again, when I talked with CHP, they wanted to give you the heads up. We have those wintry conditions up here at the higher elevations, as Elena Resk was saying, that we do have a little bit of that snow, but when you do go down the pass a bit, when you get to those warmer mid-30 conditions, that's where you get those wintry mix where it can be even more dangerous because you have the slippery roads, the wind, and again, a wintry mix that's falling down. So again, some of those tips that CHP was saying, give yourself time, leave earlier just to make sure that you can get there safely, check your windows to make sure they're clean so you can see out them, make sure your wipers will work because you'll need them. And if your wipers are on, you're going to need to have those headlights on so you can see. But again, the big concern, be safe out there. And they're trying to get this cleared so that they can get the, the, the road completely open and not just have the one lane. So we're going to send things over to Kernville where Eliza Navarro is. I'm Scott Sheehan up in Tehachapi for 23ABC News.